Right guys, just a brief explanation of the process I've been through in getting a home extension built. A 2 by 3 meters for a wet room and including a lobby area. So basically it's going out to the maximum of 6 meters. Now before carrying out any extension work, always consult your neighbours for approval too. Also if you're building over or close to public sewer pipes, then you need to contact your water supplier such as 7 Trent. They will charge an application fee of £169. Your architect should go through this with you. So the architect was called in, who did the initial survey, consultation and building regulation drawings. They will also submit the application to the local authority, which is your city council. The architect own fees varies around £500. Application was submitted online to the planning department of the city council. Council planning fee was around £200. A site visit was arranged from the council, but due to the lockdown and the Covid period, they couldn't attend, so images were sent instead. Letters were sent to both of our neighbours, including the opposite backyard neighbour. If there are no issues, then the planning department will make their final say. Once you get that approval letter, you're all good to go. Now get quotations from various builders. Make sure they are fixed with your job and not having two or three other jobs to go to. Look at their previous work they have done. Once you're satisfied with everything, arrange date to start the work. Now before the work gets started, get in touch with a building inspector. There are two options. You can arrange an inspector from the city council or you can go private. They will make a few visits during the process of the work carried out to make sure all is done correctly so then they can issue you a certificate at the end. Now building inspector fees are around £450. Your architect should guide you on this. Bear in mind that during the late spring and summertime builders are busy as well as the material cost will fluctuate. Tell the builders to book in the materials in first. You should not make full payment to the builders at once. Always split your payments to avoid disappointments. Now I'm going to show you some footage of what we've been through so far. Digging up the area for new foundations to put in place, including the waste pipes and relocation of the manhole. Bricks, cement, insulation and other materials are here so we can crack on with the job. So this is the main construction all done up. 
more work is left including the decoration inside which I will show you in another video. Hot and cold pipes connections installed for the wet room including all electrics. Thermal insulated plasterboards were applied. This window was removed and now bricked up. We got the by4 window finally arrived after three weeks of wait. Any remaining internal or external holes get it filled up with this expandable foam spray. Now the manhole which we relocated needs a new cover. The top diameter is about 52 centimeters, which we nicely fitted a recessed 58 centimeters square manhole. We had the basin drain pipe hidden within the wall and attached to the waste pipe. And waterproof bathroom spotlights installed. So far so good, just the decoration is left now and the new roof. I'll keep you guys updated, take care, peace.